Hi, my name is Keith, and I'm known as a Florida Stone Man, and today I'm going to bring you a very interesting topic, and this is all about the energy of hope. Now, let's talk about hope for a second, and by the end of this video, you'll know what I mean. I've been catching on to certain things, and hope is a very good energy. It means you have faith, you're doing your, uh, I'm going to talk about that in a second. You have faith, you are open to receiving Hopefully, not always. Hopefully, if you know what I mean. But the context of this word, energetically, when it comes to receiving, when it comes to law of attraction, when it comes to manifestation, it can be a downfall. Now, I'm not saying don't have any hope. It's completely opposite. It's not. That you, it's good to have hope. If you have hope, it means the faith is there. But just purely faith alone without any action doesn't get you to where you want to be. It'll take some of you 10 or 20 years to figure that out before you actually do something. And when you guys actually do get lucky here and there, you act, you put it, you give credit to the hope that was there before. And when you're hoping for something new down the line and it's not working out for you, you didn't give yourself the credit because we ask God for things, right? But we put in a little bit of action, or we put in a, a step to go somewhere different, or see something new, maybe with your business, your small business, or whatever it is, you can hope your business takes off, but until you find something that kind of just moves, like hits a domino, it could be anything, it could be the smallest, littlest, tiny thing to get the dominoes moving. If you just hoped, then you would have never made it. Uh, some people give up hope. Some people will keep on hoping. Some people will get sick of hoping to the point where they just like, ah! And they do some kind of domino, domino flick. The flick of the domino. The starting of the dominoes falling. And even though it might take the dominoes six months, a year to fall down, instead of for constantly hoping without action, you flick the domino. This could be anything. In the Law of Attraction, we talk about inspired action. So you hope for something, you, achieve, you dream for something, you aspire for something, and guess what? You achieve it because you did even a little small amount. Now, if you want to see it speed up faster, then you put more effort in. And I've been getting really caught up on this because I help a lot of people on a daily basis. And the one thing I, I constantly hear is, yeah, I hope... Hopefully this will happen. I hope that I'll get the job. I hope that this will happen. I hope. So that's all that I'm going to do. I'm going to hope. That word, as of recently, has been rubbing me very, very, very wrong. And like I said, it's good to have hope. It's good to move forward. But the energy of just leaning on hope without doing anything at all will turn your dreams into a nope will end up making you a mope. Hope is very good, and I don't want any of you to not have hope as I'm watching this video. What I would like you guys to do is have enough hope to do something crazy. Just like, I can't take this anymore, and then stand up and do something. It could be something so small. Even in Law of Attraction, when it comes to inspired action, you have to get some kind of dominant domino rolling. Now, some of you a few weeks ago were saying, I just... I'm hoping to, to get $100 for the rent. Okay, you're hoping, but that's not doing anything. You want to achieve $100. And I taught a method to certain people. Who Everyone everyone I taught this to has $100 already. Actually, a lot more than $100. It's been working for people left and right. It's just a, such a simple mechanic, spiritual mechanic mechanism to get you to where you want to be. It doesn't take much. Except for uh, not just hoping, but expecting. You can hope it comes to you, but you, then you can not expect because you didn't expect it to come to you and you kind of pushed it away from you. It didn't mean it doesn't come to you. It means it just takes a little longer to come to you. Guys, I taught you about this before. Take a glass of water. And this is like for people hoping for $100. $100 is not a lot of money. It's not. Programmed, society programs people to believe $100 is a lot of money, and the second you think $100 becomes a lot of money, 
then it is a lot of money to you. And then in a world where all the rents are going up, in a world where food's getting more expensive, everything's getting more expensive, and you stuck to the ideal, you because pr- keep in mind, in the law of attraction, there's no, absolutely zero difference between one penny and a million dollars. It sounds nuts, but the reason it sounds nuts is because you have limiting beliefs programmed by society, programmed by an upbringing, programmed by your parents, it's all the same thing when it comes to law of attraction. It doesn't make a difference. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, and I'm gonna teach you something right now. Take a glass of water, put it on your counter, write one hundred dollars on the side of the glass of water, fill it up with fresh water, like from the, like, a bottle. Of, I don't know where you guys get your water from, but write one hundred dollars on the side of the glass of water, and let it sit out for three hours. Drink this water. A hundred dollars is coming to you. That's how easy it is. That's how fast it is. But the thing is, depending on where you're at is how long it'll take to come to you. If it'll try to find an avenue, it'll try to find something to move itself to you. But at that point, you didn't just hope. You did a little bit of something, which got a little bit of something else moving closer to you. Now, people who have seen consistent results with the, uh, and the biggest thing, is to expect the 100 to come to you. Because even when you forget, even when you stop believing, even when you don't care and you just, your energy was just so like against you, and then you just release the resistance because you completely forgot about it. The $100 is still in your in your energetic body. It's still in your aura. It's still in your energy field. And then as soon as you stop caring and you drop the resistance, it comes to you. Just like that. Sometimes it'll literally, it will literally blow to you in the wind. Sometimes it'll literally be a stranger on the street just walks up to you and hands it to you. Just, but that didn't happen until you were on the street. My point is it just takes something very tiny to get the ball rolling. But just put in something tiny here and there. And people who have been adding zeros to that $100 in the glass, it's been working for them as well. Like I taught about that before. The law of attraction, one penny in a million dollars, it's all about... It's the same exact thing. It's just about how it's going to get to you. And it might take a little longer, but it's coming. It's coming. The less you do, the more that you hope that it comes to you. And you don't do anything. You stay at home. You don't even put yourself out there. Because guess what? When you're at home and you're locked, you're just in the four walls of your home. And you you shut your you just shut yourself off from the world. Now you don't, you don't meet the people like that. And that's taking so much more longer to get to you versus you did some kind of inspired action, even if, even if it's little tiny action. But then you add more action to that. You stop just hoping. And uh, this is... Uh, I hear this very often. People say, well, I hope I win the lottery. I hope I win a scratch-up. I hope I win the Powerball. I hope you don't expect to on a subconscious level and you you really want it and you really need it but keep in mind in the law of attraction whenever you want something there's a law of need and even uh, a derivative from want you're pushing it away because you don't already have it you're not there you put in a little bit of action with something as simple as a glass of water just talk to the water we're mostly water and it's literally going into our energy field and overriding our subconscious you're manifesting with water. People teach us all, all, all the time online, and it's freakishly easy. But then you can add some crystals to the water. You can wear some crystals while you drink the water, etc. It's just this water technique is to show you that a little bit of action will take you very far. And th- you can actually measure how much action is in this by where you go with this. So you put yourself out there. You do the $100 water. Now you have much more then $100 coming to you, you just find money on the ground, new job opportunities coming left left and right. You didn't just hope. If you hope for a change after five years of doing your job and you hate your job, you you hope to find a new job, but you, you're just, you don't expect a new one to come to you. You keep going to the same one. You don't break. You don't break even a little bit out of the habit of going to that job. You hope... But that hope didn't take you anywhere. It's the saddest thing to see. You could have started that small business. You could have just did a one thing a day with your small business. People think a small business, and I help people get their, their small businesses started too. I say, okay, you have to do a little bit here, a little bit there. People are like, no, I'm just going to do it all at once. No, I'm going to do it, I'm gonna do it after I, I, 
I'm gonna do this then, yeah. Like, I, once I'm... Once I'm done with school, or like, oh, no, once I, oh, I come back from vacation, no, once I come, like, I gotta wait for me to, like, finish moving, or, like, if you think that's how a small business works, it's not. It's a domino effect, and you're making dominoes, and you're pushing one down, and they don't all fall down at once. They roll down. It goes, and then finally, uh, it bumps into more dominoes, and then, but you didn't just hope. The energy of hope can't, like, just hope is dangerous. Because if you're just hoping, then you're going to burn yourself out. And then you're going to feel hopeless because you just hoped. Or you're going to keep going to the point where you didn't have any action and you're stuck in the same spot. And then you're 70 years old and you wanted to start your small business. But you hope that it was easy. You hope that it was not going to be just uncomfortable to start off. You hope... I hope you get what I'm saying here. I hope you get what I'm saying here. The, the word is an amazing word. It's a powerful word. There's a strong energy about the word. But the word can actually backfire on a person who doesn't follow through with it. And I heard people in my TikTok comment section, there's always that one person here and there. Uh, I believe it's James 2.14. I forget what it was. Exact the Bible verse. I always forget exact numbers and names and stuff when I go on here because I'm, my mind is so full about what I'm going to talk about but people say ah, I'm not going to go apply for a job I'll just pray I'll get the job just by praying literally and for the people who said they'll just pray it's in the Bible literally in the Bible it says you can just pray but faith alone is dead you just have faith in it and you don't do anything you want to have a good day but you don't want to get out of bed you hope you have a good day, but you haven't put one foot out of bed. It takes one foot to have everything moving for you. But it just takes that one foot or that one domino flicker to get everything going, go everything for you. If you want and it's coming as soon as you put some kind of action in, it's coming. You want it to come a little sooner? Put in a little more put in a little more effort. Put in a little more action. It doesn't matter what it is. I taught you one little tiny thing that you guys can do for action is the the uh Money water. Or you can do self-love water. If you want to feel a certain emotion, write that emotion on the water. Confident. And you drink that water. I hope that I'm going to be confident one day. But you keep staring in the mirror and insulting yourself when you talk to your friends. You hope. But your actions go against your hope. And you're going backwards. And then it, you're feeling hopeless because you're not following through with any kind of action with your hope. You hope you win the, the lottery. You hope you win scratch-offs, but what crystals are you wearing to help you? Green Aventurine as a cuff, for example. People who went from hoping went from people who went to winning. And I wish I... Okay, I'm going to make a video where I start showing some of the testimonies. Uh, if you're one of the people who have won big using my Green Aventurine cuff, put it on the website because a lot of you will be like, Oh, I, I won, and then you'll just bolt. And I'll never see you guys again until like a few months and be like, okay, cool, I'm ready to get something else. And then you guys get a bunch of other stuff. But, yeah, I mean, that's one energy for them. From people who win and from people who, uh, the money, water, and stuff like that, they've messaged me on my Instagram before they commented on the comment section with all the people saying, does this work? I'm like, try it. Try it. <sighs> but... I hope you guys get the message of this video. The word has been kind of like rubbing, rubbing wrong on me. Let's just say that. And I keep hearing it. And I decided at this at this point in my life, it's going to be a weak word for me to be able to help people. Well, I hope you get that job. No, you put on green aventurine. You put on citrine. You put on pyrite. You're getting the job. And you decide if you want the, a better job. You just You put on the pyrite. Especially as a necklace. And it, you have that small business energy that's popping. And you didn't just hope. It's just a little tiny bit of action. Like a little tiny bit. Like I said, one domino falling over. Everything else. I hope I have more energy. Wear a carnelian. Like, that's all you have to do. Wear a carnelian. You'll have more energy. You don't fight the energy of the carnelian. You get up, you do something. Because now you have the energy. 
and you see what happened whatever you would like to manifest come true because you have the energy to follow through and put some kind of action out don't just hope if you have any questions ask them in the comment section and i hope you guys actually follow through with your hopes and dreams because it's necessary for you guys to be able to grow you all, you will you will always hear what you need to hear from me versus what you want to hear from me for people who subscribe on my youtube channel they know this i can be that kind of friend and i'm and to people who are close to me they know if i see something that i don't like i'm gonna say it all at once i'm not gonna hold back and it's gonna be straight to the point it's not gonna be there to insult you it's gonna be there to help you grow and then people sometimes run away for a few months and they run back to me they're like you were right I have, i'm gonna call one person out right now I basically yelled at someone. They went to a psychic, and they're like, the psychic said that I had a friend that was right back then that I didn't listen to. And, yeah. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. I'm going to start putting my website, because people are like, you have a website? And I'm like, oh, I don't even put that in the YouTube videos, do, do I? So, guys, uh, subscribe. Go to my website, floridastoneman.com. And now that I just put, go to floridastoneman.com, because I've, I forget to say my website in the video. I'm going to teach you guys an energy scan technique. You can go to my website, take your right hand, put it over your left hand, and move it around when you go on the website, and you're going to actually feel the energy coming off from the images because energy is real, and you're going to feel that they're real crystals through your phone or through the website. It's pretty cool, and I'm going to have to make it a habit to teach that because uh, I don't... I don't advertise my website enough. I just love crystals. I love living crystals. I love helping people. And I forget that I don't tell people the website. And people are like, oh, you have a website. And they can get crystals. I can help them. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.